the AP-55 light helicopter was on display at the annual industry exhibition in Moscow in May 2025. The KMZ facility, Kizlyar Dagestan, has developed a modern helicopter that is built using a coaxial rotor system, a design that has been traditionally used in Russia for Kamov Design Bureau helicopters. Nevertheless, the AP-55 is plagued by a traditional issue that has impacted a significant portion of Russian civilian aviation equipment that has been developed since the late 2000s, a foreign engine. The engine is sourced not just from any country, but specifically from one of the most hostile nations. This is KEMS's second production project in the sphere of light aviation. Prior to this, the facility built the Alpha KM, a four-seat twin-engine helicopter that was developed by the Design Bureau of the Moscow Aviation Institute, MAI, under the designation MAI-411. This aircraft and the developer's production plans were the subject of our article in 2023. At that time, there were already numerous reservations regarding the selection of the power facility. Two foreign-made aviation engines were installed on the Kizlyar aircraft. This created specific export opportunities. However, sanctions impeded technical maintenance and mass production. Regrettably, there is no official or accessible information available regarding the status of the Alpha KM project in Dagestan as of 2025. In light of this, the developers once again attracted attention to themselves by exhibiting their AP-55 helicopter at the Heli Russia exhibition in Moscow. Some Russian journalists who were not familiar with aviation hastily wrote about a new product that, upon even a cursory review of the project's history, is not truly new. So, what is this helicopter? The AP-55 was developed directly by the Avia Project Company Moscow, which decided in the late 2000s to develop its own world-class light helicopter with a five-seat fuselage. The creators established an ambitious objective and enlisted the assistance of Kamov's experts, including Boris Anatolovich Gubarev, honored designer of the Russian Federation, who was instrumental in the development of the K-29, K-50, K-56, K-62, and K-226 helicopters. A full-scale mock-up of the AP-55 helicopter, complete with a cockpit interior and pilot seat, had been on display at exhibitions in Moscow by 2009. Working design documentation had been finalized for the coaxial rotor system, transmission, main flight control system, skid landing gear, and a finalized list of standard onboard equipment, which was coordinated with subcontractors by 2012. Also at that time, the developers intended to construct a prototype for full-scale static testing. We were unable to locate the subsequent events in open sources. However, the following was reported on Kemsey's website nearly a decade later. In 2020, the company JSC Avia Project, together with JSC Kemsey Concern, on their initiative developed a model of the light five-seat multi-purpose helicopter AP-55. The plant's main production facilities were involved in manufacturing components and composite materials. Assembly of the AP-55 is carried out at a flight test complex with access to a 1,450-meter runway. In summary, the AP-55 was once again new and promising. A mock-up of the helicopter was displayed at Kems's stand at the 2021 Moscow Aviation Salon, the final event prior to the special military operation. Negotiations with prospective buyers were also conducted at the event. It is important to mention that KMZ's facility in Kizlyar has maintained its own composite materials workshop for aviation purposes since May 2021. In May 2025, regional media outlets reported that the helicopter currently being assembled in Dagestan was undergoing laboratory testing with flight tests to commence shortly. This serves to exacerbate the uncertainty regarding the project's present status. In summary, the helicopter has been in development on a private initiative since 2007 or 2008, with a modest design bureau contributing to the project. The Kemsey plant has been involved in the initiative since 2020, and they intend to mass-produce the AP-55. Nevertheless, all testing will not yet have been finalized by 2025. Now, let's discuss the technical specifications provided by the potential manufacturer. 
The AP-55 is equipped with a British Rolls-Royce Model 250 C20B gas turbine engine that generates 350 horsepower and has a takeoff weight of 1.36 tons, although some sources suggest that it may be as high as 1.55 tons. The five-seat helicopter is engineered to operate at a maximum speed of 260 km per hour and a range of up to 700 km. The helicopter's coaxial rotor system and compact dimensions enable it to operate in confined spaces, allowing for safe takeoff and landing on a 15 by 15 meter pad. A self-sufficient unit is created by the helicopter's moving parts, which include the main gearbox, coaxial rotor system, engine, and support systems, like the fuel, lubrication, and control systems, along with the strong frame of the helicopter's body. This modular design enables the development of various helicopter modifications. The developers of the project are particularly interested in an unmanned version that can carry a payload of up to 400 kilograms. On the one hand, the helicopter appears to be in fine condition, a sleek domestic model with Kamov-style genetics, but one that is powered by an engine from hostile Britain. This is evidently a dead end for Russian civil aviation in 2025. In this context, the VK-650V, a Russian helicopter engine, has already been developed and installed on other light helicopters, including the Ansat-M and the Mi-34M1. Now, do you think Russia should fund such private projects in the current times? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.